let's check the sum. Two substances A and B have specific heats C and 2C. If A and B are given Q and 4Q amounts of heat, the change in their temperatures is the same. If the mass of A is M, what is the mass of B? Okay, so quickly we'll just underline whatever is given to us. So specific heats C and 2C, amounts of heat that is Q and 4Q, the mass is given as M. Okay, so when you do the sum, it might seem to be a little difficult. So the best step is to first write whatever is given. Okay, so let's have here we have A and here we have B. Okay. So, specific heat is C. So, let's call it as CA and CB. So, we have here CA is C and for B it is 2C. Then, amounts of heat, heat is Q. So, for A we have it as Q. Okay. And for B it is 4Q. What else is given? The mass of A is given. So, MA is equal to M and we need to find the mass of B. The next step to find, okay, so we need MB and now given all this, let us just think what is the formula to be applied. So clearly since the heat is given, we can apply the formula of heat, okay. So let's say the amount of heat received by substance A is equal to, the formula of heat is equal to M into specific heat of A into delta T. Now what is given to us is, that the temperatures, the change in the temperatures is the same for both the substances. So, we'll get the equation in terms of delta T. Okay, so let's keep delta T on one side and here you have QA upon MA into CA. Similarly, if we write QB is equal to MB into CB into delta T, if we get the equation in terms of delta T, you get QB upon MB into CB. And one more thing in the given we can write it as let's say delta T is for example delta T. In this case also it will be the same because that's what's, that what is given to us that the change in the temperatures is the same. Now we know that the right hand side is the same delta T is equal to delta T. So let's equate B, these both equations. So you have QA upon MA into CA is equal to QB upon MB into CB. Let's substitute the values. We have QA is equal to Q and MA is given as M. CA is given as C. Okay. Now QB is 4Q. Okay. And MB is what we want to find and CB is given as 2C. Okay. Now since we want to find MB, let's get it on top. Okay. So cross multiply. So you have MB is equal to 4Q upon what remains here is 2C, okay. This goes on the other side, so in the numerator, you will have C into M upon what remains here is Q. So, get this down, okay. Let's see what is common. So, Q, Q gets cancelled, C gets cancelled, 2 ones are to 2 are. So, you have the value of MB as 2 remains. What else is there? M. So, you have the mass of B is 2M. Thanks for watching guys. Do subscribe and press the bell icon. Take care.